A while ago, I tried a process to fix this bumper where it was ripped here and here. And I used this tool, this plastic welding stapler, hot stapler thing. You can see that video. It'll be one of these corners. I never remember which corner it shows up in. Uh, that didn't go, that didn't go terribly well at all. Did a little more research and learned about some other possible ways this might work. This is tricky because it's so flexible. Trying to get it to stay and, and weld together, uh, I find has been rather difficult. I think if it was harder plastic, it might be a little easier. But I've got a couple other methods I'm gonna try, or at least one other method I'm gonna try today. And we'll see if we can get this thing fixed. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is underneath. This is the bottom side of that bumper, so it's only gonna be visible from underneath. It's not critical that it looks super awesome. It just needs to not have this part be sagged. You can see it's actually developed a bit of a bend here where it has sagged for I don't know how many years. This, is, this has been sitting like this for a while. So I'm going to uh, see if I can get this shored up and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Let's see if it works. All right, so I picked up a different tool. It's a similar process. It's like, a, basically, it's a soldering iron with a special flat tip in it. And this kit also came with one. This slides over the end of these and, uh, and would get hot and give you kind of a flat blade to push down and heat up and, and kind of smush around like a putty knife almost. But just like those staples, if you recall in that video, this does not fit on here. Even then, it's like super flimsy. So I picked up this tool recently, and it's got a much more rigid tip on it, which I think will help a lot. It was super cheap. It was a whole kit that came with some plastic stock, I guess, that like you used to melt in. I'm gonna use some metal, like a flexible, um, not flexible, but they call it that basically like it's like duct tape, but it's the metal tape Give it something a little more rigid To hold together and we'll we'll uh, take the heat because it's gonna get a little warm and the duct tape gets a little bit Melty is that a word it gets a little soft. It doesn't hold as well And I think I'm actually gonna try to get some Some kind of metal mesh of some sort and uh, as a reinforcement, almost like you would put that metal mesh in concrete or rebar or something like that. Like see if I can add something that's gonna give it a little more strength to it than just melted plastic that I'm hoping will cool and harden. This will give it something in it, but I gotta find something. The kit didn't come with any of that kind of mesh, so I'm trying to figure out something I could put in it. I wonder about some like window screen or um, actually, I have an idea. Uh, the tape I have is fairly thin. I wish I had some of that where it's um, got a backing on it and you peel the backing off. That's a little bit thicker and stronger. But I'm going to try this. So my goal is just to get this to cinch up tight like that and hold it there. And I'll actually do my welding on the back side. Um, you can see where I, <laughs> those staples blew through. That did not work. So that's what I'm going for. See if I can get that to stick right there. Let's we'll see if it holds. Still wants to kind of pull apart. Let me look on the inside here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Now let's flip this over. We'll take a look at the inside here. This is that spot we want to get 
welded. It's already coming loose from that tape. That's not good. It's not working very well. I really want that to be like great. Kind of like. Like that. It does not seem to want to stay there. What if I taped? Sounds ridiculous. What if I taped all the way across? Trying to hold it like that right there. That's the perfect spot. So I've got this shirt up here with some tape trying to hold these two pieces together and then a clamp. And so I'm just going to do this little bits at a time. So I'll start here and do some, some plastic welding here and then let it cool. And then I'll come up here and do this part until I take this clamp off and see if that holds together. If getting this to hold together will hold that together. Because uh, even with it taped together like this, 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 these two, this section here still wants to separate just a little bit. And just enough that it may not be a big deal, but I'm trying to keep it as close as factory as possible. So I'm going to try to see if I can do it. So we'll start here. So I'm going to do this kind of like a, I guess kind of like a soldering iron a little bit. Like this is this piece here gets good and hot and will melt. I'll use some of the plastic that's already here and kind of put in here like so. And as I do, it'll get hot and melt that. And as it melts, it's going to blend back together. Now this has some pretty significant holes in it from where it blew through with those staples. So I'm going to take a piece of this plastic stock here and kind of melt it in there. And then what I want to do, I want to just get some filler in. It's uh, maybe, maybe less like solder, more like um, drywall. Like I'm going to, this is my drywall mud, so to speak. And I'm going to put some reinforcement in there, kind of like tape. In this case, I'm going to use a little bit of metal mesh. And I'll show you what I use for that. You can use steel wool, uh, but I don't have any. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out, save myself a trip to the store. What around here do I have that I can use in its place? And what I'm going to use is this chunk of coax wire. Now let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'll just clip off a section. And we'll get a little bit of kind of cut through the insulation there. I'm just trying to get this rubber jacket removed. Enough to get the center bit out. Okay. And then what I want is this or that. This is what I want. I want this mesh. And so you can kind of, as you push this together, see how it kind of fans out. So I'm going to squeeze it up together and get a little bit of width out of it. I'll use that as my reinforcement. Somebody in the last video commented, hey, dude, all you need is a soldering iron and some steel wool. We'll give us a try, see how it works. It's funny, so while I was waiting for this to warm up, I wanted to see if, they, if that box included a, a holder, which it does, like a little plate you can set it on to keep it from melting whatever it's sitting on. But also when I dug through the box, one of the bottom of the box kind of hidden was this screen. Turns out it did come with the stuff, but now I'm curious. If that just, just doesn't work, I'll try this. But now that I'm in this mode, I'm kind of curious if this will work. Because the idea of it sounds really cool. So I'm just trying to get some volume of stuff on the surface for now trying to make not too much of a mess and i'm not doing very good at either one i feel like they should like i've watched these videos it seems to go a lot faster than what i'm doing but okay so i'm just gonna set this in here Make it into our material here. 
I'm going to probably trim some of that off. i got a little bit of excess on here for now for this, for this big a spot. And then I'll add some more on top of it. Now obviously this isn't very pretty, but it's the backside of the bottom and it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to hold. All right, I'm gonna let that cool for a bit. I feel like this is kind of like drywall. You probably can mess with it too much. So I'm gonna leave it, let it set, and see where we are, not playing around with it too much. So we'll give this four or five minutes and we'll come back. All right, it's pretty, pretty hard now. It's cooled. So I probably will trim this up a little bit just to get the crap out of here, but I don't know. Maybe not. Like I said, you're not going to see it. Let's take this off here. Yeah, see, that's holding now much better. Good stuff. We'll do the same thing up here now. I think I'm going to put a little more stuff in this time. Kind of fill some of these holes a little better than I think I did the last time around. I think I put a little too thin. Like, I think it'll hold, but I'll have more to fill on the other side when it comes time to to fix this, to paint it and stuff. So I'll have holes on the other, in the front side. Which I do intend to do here. That's the next step after I get all these cracks fixed up. Might consider wearing a mask. This stuff is pretty potent. I don't know. All right, let's leave that for now and get my metal in here. Still trying to hold this together right here still wants to come apart i don't know how well that's going to show up on camera there it's awfully small but still wants to come apart so i'm holding it with one hand and trying to finagle this plastic stuff with the other hand in this case i'm half bringing new plastic up and also kind of melting the plastic that's already there but it's not really it's this weird polymer type stuff I don't know what you call it it's very very flexible and so it doesn't have the same properties as like a hard plastic would and I do think that's a factor so it doesn't really meld together very well all right now I'm just gonna hold this for a bit since I don't have any way of clamping it and let it cool. I guess I'm just gonna stand here and hold my soldering iron for a while because I've got nowhere to set it down now that I've got it hot. Do to do do to do. I don't know if that really helps. smells lovely. I would definitely get some ventilation or like I have a fan. I have an exhaust fan. I forgot to turn on. I can't turn it on from here. I don't want to let go. So I'm just putting up with the smell, but it is pretty, you know, melting plastic doesn't smell awesome. Um, so I would definitely, if you're going to do this in a small space, you know, get a fan or open a window or you want some ventilation. Probably should wear a mask. I don't know how good this is breathing in. Never been one for, you know, OSHA safety stuff, but I've said a bunch of times I'm kind of a walking OSHA violation, so don't, you know, don't use me for your safety rules. But, um, you know, maybe glasses, gloves, a respirator, or at least a mask. Because uh, I'm sure breathing in these plastic, the smoke from the plastic melting is not, not good for your lungs. You guys bored yet? I know I am. All right, seems to have cooled, so 
What do we got here? Well, I was pretty happy with it. And then I had to go run some errands and I come back to finish up the other half and it's a split back open again. So it didn't stick at all. Not ideal, <laughs> say the least. So let me try this again. Let me wash this up again because now it's probably a little on the dirty side. Let me clean this up. Maybe it was just too dirty for it to stick. Um, and I'm going to maybe heat this up a little and, and get this soft. So then maybe they'll bond together. But it, like I said earlier, I think they are different kinds of plastic and I'm not a plastic or, or like what do they call it with metal metallurgy. I'm not a, I'm not a polymerallurgy guy, so I don't know the differences in the plastics or why one works versus another, but let's give that a whirl. So that's just some soap and water. Oh, pretty dirty. I did already clean this once, but apparently not very good. If I can tape this up a bit. I have this work a little bit better. There we go. Kind of cinch those up together a little bit. And since it did come with the screen, I'm going to give that screen a try. I do think that stuff would work. I don't think that's the problem, that it wouldn't work. Actually, I do want, I want to fill these holes, so I'm still going to put some. Chunks of this stuff in there. And now I'm trying to see. If I can just melt. The screen into the existing plastic. It's like it evaporates. It's so weird. Like it doesn't melt, it dissolves. Now I'm wondering if that other staple tool would have actually worked on something else. Just not on this. I don't know. It's like boiling. Like as soon as I put on here, it, 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 it like sizzles like water. I don't know if I can get you in close enough where you can see this, but I'm gonna try. All right, so what I'm talking about here is this right here. I'm trying to melt this into the plastic. And all the plastic is doing is dissolving. See in here how this has got a, bend that back a little bit. It's got a ridge right here now. That, this material is simply gone. It didn't, it didn't melt into these holes. It didn't melt into the screen. It just evaporated. Where this was touching. So, I'm gonna try with more of that plastic stuff, but I'm not having a lot of high hopes for this. Something about this material just doesn't, doesn't work this way. Um, at least that's what it seems like. Alright, so I bent that screen back and now it not wants to pull away while it's soft. So I'm going to hold this here while it cools a little. If I can get that to stick, I feel like I'm going to taste this plastic for days. So I'm just kind of holding it here with a cheap set of pliers just so that that screen doesn't peel away again. So one advantage of that other, you know, that using that coax wiring basically is it's way more flexible than this uh, screen. And once the screen gets bent in a certain spot, it's kind of hard to straighten it back out. So I just got to hold this until that plastic cools enough that it's sort of tension, it's, it's tensile strength, I guess you call it, is stronger than the 
screen and holds the screen in place. But I still have my doubts about this holding long term. All right, so it's stuck there. I'll let that cool for, I don't know, before I take the tape off, I'll let everything just leave it sit where it is. I'm going to leave it for, I don't know, maybe a half hour. I was gone for an hour and it didn't hold, but I had already taken the tape off and it was pulling against itself. So let me leave it locked in place and just let it cool for a bit. All right, it's actually been drying for a little while. So kind of the moment of truth. What do you think? It's gonna hold? I have my doubts. Partly is this spot up here is still not, this crack is still not quite as, so as, as cleaned up or as shored up, I guess, as I'd like it to be. And so it's gonna put some tear pressure on. And I'm wondering about dealing with that before I take this apart. This piece right here. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to take like a Dremel, but the Milwaukee version, and I'm going to get a little grinding bit, like a little stone, and just carve out a little channel there. I've got this super cool set of bits here. My son got this for me for Christmas. And uh, let's see what we got in here. It might work. A lot of stuff in here. Um, let's go probably a little stone. These really thin ones. Maybe this one here. Just see if we can grind out either this one or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. See if we can just grind out a little groove. Like usual, I'll throw a link down below to everything, all the different tools I'm using. So I'll see if I can get it hot enough that it'll fill down in that crack. Maybe bond a little better, almost like a weld, like a like a metal weld, where you get penetration. You want metal to go through. So I want plastic to go through and bond, so the plastic ends up making almost like a T um, to to clamp it together. That seems really optimistic and probably oversimplifying this process or over sorry over complicating this process. I don't know. I don't know if I just can't fix this kind of bumper with this kind of process. It's almost like stick welding, which I'm also not very good at. <laughs> so we'll see. All right. Now another hurry up and wait. I'll give us another little bit. Um, it's dinner time now, so I'm gonna go run and get some dinner. And I'll check this when we're done eating. Well, maybe it's working. So I pulled this tape off, but see that just peels right off. So I don't, have, I don't know. I have my doubts still. But I know this flap here was pulling way back because it was real. It was, it was, it sagged for so long and it kind of taken on a new shape. So I gave it a little heat with a heat gun and bent it back up. And let me show you. This heat up on the back side here. It bent this back and then kind of holding it in place in hopes that it will keep that shape. Because I pulled this tape off and let this, let these like sort of sides expand back out. This is already coming loose right here. So this is not holding at all. I can see it's already peeling back here too. 
So I don't know, before I, I'm gonna do a little more digging before I go mess up that side, since that side's got a nice clean crack. This side was all messed up anyway, so if we're gonna keep messing something up, let's mess up the side that's already messed up. All right, well, shoot. You know, I don't know enough about this stuff. I, I, I say this often. I don't know if I say it all the time, but I say it often. A lot of the times you're watching me do something, it's the first time I've ever done it. And this was the second time, I guess, if you count the other staple method. First time I've ever done it with this way, with this uh, soldering iron style. And it, this one didn't, you know, sometimes when you do stuff for the first time and you don't really know what you're doing, strangely enough, it doesn't always work. And this time it didn't work. I don't really know why. If you know why, throw some comments down below because I'm trying these different methods and I can't seem to get this thing to, uh, to uh, weld up properly. And, and maybe you just can't. Maybe this is the wrong kind of material and this isn't something you can fix that way. But comment down below or throw me a DM or whatever if you've got some suggestions because I really like to reuse this bumper. It was free and I like free. Um, now I could, you know, like if it was... I'm trying to get this car to look halfway nice. Like if this was just some old beater, I'd just drill a couple of holes and throw some zip ties in it and call it good. Uh, and I may still do that. But uh, for now, I'd like to try to weld it somewhat because I like to make it look quasi normal. Uh, also, I'd like to learn how to do it. So if you guys have any suggestions how to do this better or a different material or a different tool, um, let me know. I do think this method is the better of the two that I've tried so far. I think it just doesn't work on this particular piece. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe the material's wrong, like I said. I'm not sure exactly how to weld this together, but I think if you had a harder plastic or something that was it was more rigid, uh, I actually think this would work really well. So I actually really like the tool. It was super easy to use. I'll put a link down below for it, uh, and I think if you have something that's not this, it'd probably work really well for you. Fortunately for me, it didn't work. Anyway, Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.